Hey guys, in this video we are going to install Solark 15K inverter with 15 kilowatt hours batteries from a stack rack and a smart panel. Owner has 5.5 kilowatts grid tie solar system that was installed about 12 years back. We are going to AC couple this system as well. If you're interested, let's get started. Because the battery modules are heavy, we're going to pour concrete pad for battery cabinet. We're using 2x8 lumber for form work and we did use about 14 bags of concrete, 50 pounds each bag. And right here equipment that we're going to mount, Solark 15K. We have stack rack cabinet for 6 batteries, we're going to install 3 batteries for now. And this is gutter box. And this is pad we did yesterday. Here's the anchor bolts that we're getting in the package with the cabinet and we're going to drill concrete pad after concrete cured and uh, install cabinet. Battery cabinet is uh, from stack rack. What is good about this cabinet? We have three doors so we can easily access batteries from any side. And we're installing three modules, newest batteries, 5.12 kilowatt hours each battery. Uh, we're using bottom shelf to have a center of gravity lower. The smart panel that we are going to install is only indoor rated. So we have to build this cabinet to uh, install this outdoor, but it's going to be protected from rain or sun or any kind of weather. It's going to be full home backup. We're going to install lug kit in main panel and run two old cables to AC disconnect and then from AC disconnect to solar converter and then to smart panel. We're gonna run all wires in the crawl space and we have two holes. One is a source from main panel and the other side is gonna be load to solar. And here's the intermediate process, it was second day of installation. Now we're going to crimp wires from a stack rack cabinet to Solark unit and run AC line from load to new smart electrical panel. Next step is to secure cabinet uh, on the studs and the install smart panel. And here's the panel itself. We are running two old cable from top of the panel to land this on the lugs. And on the bottom, we're gonna have all breakers for low side. And here's the smart panel. At the bottom, we have this window to access all circuit breakers. The limitation for this panel is a maximum circuit breaker that can be installed is a 60 amps. And here's the panel inside. From the top right there, we have service entrance cable, which is going on the side of the panel and going into crawl space right there. In the main panel, we have about 10 breakers that we need to move to smart panel. Two of these breakers is for solar and we're going to move them to solar generator input to do AC coupled system. We're going to use square D lug kit to connect two old cable to main panel. And uh, here's a panel inside. Whatever wires we are coming from the bottom, we just um, move them and do splices in the, in the crawl space. Whatever wires coming from the top, we did use insulated uh, tap connectors and uh, wire nuts. And uh, one advice here: if you install in a lug kit, install this on the top or on the opposite way where cable coming from, because those two old uh, cable is hard to bend and if you install this here it's, it's going to be more room to navigate and to, to uh, more easier to bend this uh, in the crawl space whenever we need to do splice with thick cables 
what we did, we installed junction boxes like that. And on the one side, we're attaching cable that was here before. And other side, we're running 6.3 Ramax, which is good for 60 amps. And this is going to uh, sub panel. And uh, one more example of junction box. We have this conduit, metal conduit, which used to go right there, which is where is main panel. So we just installed this um, junction box and running 6.3 cable into sub panel. And here's the AC disconnect from other side. This is going from uh, on the load side uh, from AC disconnect to solar arc. And that one is coming from main panel right there. And here's the final setup. Right here in the main panel, we only have 200 amps main breaker and the lug kit. From a lug kit, wire is going to AC disconnect right here. So this is coming from a lug kit and this is going to Solark. We just switched to off-grid mode. So right here we can see that house consuming a 300 watt. Then it's going to smart panel. And uh, right here are the batteries. We have three of them. Solar connected to generator input and uh, it's AC coupled system right now. All right, guys, that's all about this video. Right now I'm waiting for inspector. He should be here in like in 15 minutes. Hopefully you'll find something useful in, in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Solark 15K with EG4. <coughs>